I will defend Planned Parenthood. I will defend Roe v. Wade. I want to congratulate Donald Trump on winning the nomination last night. We will make America great again. We will elect Donald Trump to be the 45th president of the United States of America. I alone can fix it. I am your voice. I'm using my own money. I'm not using the lobbyists. I'm not using donors. I don't care. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. You know, all of these politicians that I'm running against, how are these people going to lead us? How are we going to how are we going to go back and make it great again? We can't. They don't have a clue. They can't lead us. We will make America great again. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I want the cameras to span the room. Go ahead, fellas, watch. They don't turn them. They don't turn them. Show them how many people come to these rallies. Turn them. Go ahead, turn them. Go ahead. Thank you. That's the first time they've ever done that. Thank you. That's the first time. Amazing. Safe to say it was the Donald Trump show tonight, for better or for worse, at the first Republican debate held in Cleveland. In the center of the stage tonight, businessman Donald Trump. Right from the jump tonight, Donald Trump made waves. Is there anyone on stage who is unwilling tonight to pledge your support to the eventual nominee of the Republican Party? <laughs> Mr. Trump. I will not make the pledge at this time. Okay. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. When you're sitting in a subcommittee just blowing hot air about this, you can say things like that. I don't trust President Obama with our records. I know you gave him a big hug, and if you want to give him a big hug again, go right ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. If Hillary is the candidate, which I doubt, that would be a dream come true. If I'm our nominee, how is Hillary Clinton going to lecture me about living paycheck to paycheck? Everywhere in the world that Hillary Clinton touched is more messed up today we, than before she and the We have many on. questions to come. Mr. Trump's language is divisive. I think the big problem this country has is being politically correct. And the home of the brave. One of the biggest political events anywhere in the world is happening right now. They're voting out of enthusiasm. They're voting out of love. We are going to beat the Democrats, we are going to beat Hillary, and we're going to beat them soundly. Common Core is a disaster. And if I am elected president in the first days as president, I will direct the Department of Education that Common Core ends that day. I'm not interested in being politically correct. I'm not interested in being politically correct. I'm interested in being correct. And in, and, and in order to be correct on this issue, here's the bottom line. That is the statement of a liberal who doesn't understand government is the problem. Here's my philosophy. The less government, the more freedom. The fewer bureaucrats, the more prosperity. And there are bureaucrats in Washington right now who are killing jobs. And I'll tell you, I know who they are. I will find them and I will fire them. Did you just compare Donald Trump to Hillary Clinton on this issue? No veteran ought to be without health care, no veteran ought to be homeless, and no veteran ought to be unemployed in the United States of America. Thank you, Governor Kasich. Let's turn. We deserve leaders who stand for principle, who unite us all behind shared values, who cast aside anger for love. I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order. 
You know, he's a, he's a man known for a large personality, a, a colorful style, and lots of charisma. And so, I guess he was just looking for some balance on the ticket. I accept your nomination to run and serve as Vice President of the United States of America. My father and our next president, Donald J. Trump. Thank you. Thank you. America is a nation of believers, dreamers, and strivers that is being led by a group of censors, critics, and cynics. All of the people telling you you can't have the country you want are the same people that wouldn't stand. I mean, they said Trump doesn't have a chance of being here tonight. Not a chance. The same people. Oh, we love defeating those people, don't we? Don't we love defeating those people? Love it, love it, love it. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you and good night. I love you. I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes when she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. As soon as she releases them, I will release, I will release my tax returns. And that's against my lawyers. They say, don't do it. I have a feeling that by the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Jo you know, just 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 join uh, join the debate by uh, saying more crazy things. It's about time that this country had somebody running it that has an idea about money, and we don't have the money because it's been squandered on so many of your ideas. She's telling us how to fight ISIS. Just go to her website. She tells you how to fight ISIS on her website. I don't think General Douglas MacArthur would like that right, too the much. Next, the next the next segment we're continuing. Well, this When Hillary brings up a point like that, and she talks about words that I said 11 years ago, I think it's disgraceful, and I think she should be ashamed of herself, if you want to know the truth. Can we please hold the applause? Everything he just said is absolutely false, but I'm not oh, surprised. Really? In the first debate, and we in the really, first the debate, audience needs to I calm down people, here. You know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. Would either of you name one positive thing that you respect in one another? <laughs> I Trump, respect you his like to go children. His children are incredibly able and devoted, and I think that says a lot about Donald. Uh, I will say this about Hillary. She's a fighter. I disagree with much of what she's fighting for. I do disagree with her judgment in many cases, but she does fight hard and she doesn't quit and she doesn't give up, and I consider that to be a very good trait. And I welcome you to the third and final of the 2016 presidential debates between Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Donald J. Trump. You had not agreed to uh, closing statements, but it seems to me in a funny way that might make it more interesting because you haven't prepared closing statements. So I'd like you each to take it. We're going to put a clock up a minute. 
as the final question and the final debate to tell the American people why they should elect you to be the next president. This is another new mini segment. Secretary Clinton, it's your turn to go first. Well, I would like to um, say to everyone watching tonight uh, that I'm reaching out to all Americans. We need your talents, your skills, your commitment, your energy, your ambition. I hope you will give me a chance to serve as your president. But when I started this campaign, I started it very strongly. It's called Make America Great Again. All she's done is talk to the African-Americans and to the Latinos. But they get the vote, and then they come back, they say, we'll see you in four years. We cannot take four more years of Barack Obama, and that's what you get when you get her. We want to defend our most cherished values. This is a movement like no one has ever seen before. I want this election to be about something, not just against somebody. We will make America great again. Let's make history together. Get out and vote, 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 vote. America's best days are still ahead of us. We are going to drain the swamp of corruption. Let's go out and prove love trumps hate. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. And I can only say that while the campaign is over, our work on this movement is now really just beginning. We're going to get to work immediately for the American people. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer.